Hi, welcome back to Forbes Games. I'm Eric Kane. Uh, it is the launch of Warzone Pacific and Call of Duty Vanguard Season 1. So these two games are intertwined, separate games, but they are they are linked together with a battle pass, with progression, crossplay, and various other aspects of the, what has become the new format for Call of Duty. Uh, Warzone is the free-to-play battle royale. Well, every year you still get a mainline premium pay-to-play release. This year's is Vanguard, a World War II themed game. And Warzone is being overhauled and is becoming a World War II themed battle royale with the Warzone Pacific uh, Caldera map. Now, uh, the, the Verdansk map, which is like an Eastern European sort of Soviet bloc map, ha is being retired. And the new Caldera map is being introduced. And this is a sort of jungle... Uh, South Pacific Island, so it's much more colorful, much more vibrant than the previous map, uh, with lots of new points of interest, old colonial hotels, airstrips, uh, waterfalls, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, <clears throat> Raven Software and Activision are also implementing the new um, Call of Duty Vanguard engine, so the gameplay will not be exactly the same as Modern Warfare slash Warzone. This is going to be new gameplay. It's going to play more like Vanguard does. Uh, and now for better or worse. I, I personally really like how Vanguard plays, but uh, it's going to be a bit of a shock to the system for a lot of Warzone players. Vanguard and Warzone Pacific uh, launched their uh, Season 1 on Wednesday, uh, but Warzone Pacific will not be available for free-to-play players until Thursday the 9th. Uh, so early access period, 24-hour early access period, is only for owners of Vanguard. Uh, Vanguard itself is getting some new content, like new maps, new modes, uh, including control. Uh, there's the new battle pass includes new operators, operator skins, weapons. Now maps, modes, weapons, all those things are free for everyone. You do not have to buy a battle pass. You just have to own the base game or war zone, depending on you know which, which content you're talking about. Um, in the past, Call of Duty has sold map packs, and this has had a sort of deleterious effect on the community since some people have the maps, other people never get the maps. But in the new, uh, in the new way of doing things, uh, in this new revenue model, uh, everyone has the maps, everyone gets access to the new modes, everyone, ha everyone has the option then of just paying for the battle pass and item shop cosmetics like uh, operator skins, weapon blueprints, and so forth. So uh, this, this levels the playing field to some degree. This makes for a more um, equitable experience. Everyone has the same base content. And, uh, and and it just makes for a more vibrant community. So uh, with, with Vanguard Season 1, just like with Call of Duty, uh, Black Ops Cold War, and Modern Warfare for the last couple of years, uh, this is the new model. Uh, and I think it's really a positive step in the right direction for Call of Duty as a franchise. Um, other than that, uh, you know, there's, there's going to be a Christmas event. There's going to be some new modes in, in, in Warzone. Uh, there's going to be some new changes, and there's going to be... Uh, there's going to be a uh, ricoch the ricochet anti-cheat system, which actually went live on Tuesday, but is going live sort of coinciding with the launch of Season 1 and Warzone Pacific. And this this should help the PC experience for a lot of gamers. It's been, at, at times, kind of a nightmare dealing with hackers, you know, with the aimbots, wall hacks, and various other things that, that really make it hard and frustrating for players who are playing fair to compete. Uh, it's never fun to be up against people who are clearly cheating and winning and you're doing your best but you just can't you can't win against these these cheats so hopefully ricochet really changes the nature of the game especially you know obviously on pc where these are the you know this is the worst problem so um all of that is coming um wednesday the 8th and and then for free-to-play players in warzone pacific on the 9th so uh lots to look forward to and uh, i'll see you out there on the battlefield thanks for watching be sure to like and subscribe catch you next time Peace.